Are you a teacher or an educator who needs to collect responses from your students, from parents, or even other faculty? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the landing page for education at JotForm.com. And like I mentioned, if you need to collect data, whether you are a kindergarten teacher all the way up to a university administrator, JotForm can help you create your forms without any coding necessary. And another plus, you can save up to 50% on any of our paid plans. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and head to the top left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and choose the JotForm logo just to get me into my dashboard. I'm going to click on the create form button in the top left hand corner. Now I like to start from scratch because I know exactly how I like my forms to look. However, if you need to get your creative juices flowing, I highly suggest utilizing our template gallery. And if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can always utilize the search option at the top. But one thing I want to call your attention to is over on the left hand side, we have a lot of different options over here. And if you come down to industries, we can see we have over 3000 education forms and then under professions, we also have 67 teacher forms. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have under education forms. And JotForm has went ahead and broken this out into different subcategories. So we can see we have K through 12. Looks like we have class registration and evaluation form. We have health forms. We have parent teacher conference forms exam forms, parent feedback forms, lots of different options to choose from. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna head back up to the top and I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this class registration template. So we can see that we have the student's name, first, middle, and last. We have gender, their email student ID, and the list of classes. Now, if there's something additional that is missing from here that you need, over on the left hand side, we can choose to add a form element and we can drag and drop anything in. So maybe we need, maybe we need a phone number and go ahead and add that in. And one thing I always suggest is to choose the properties and make sure you make all of the questions that you want to make sure that they fill out required. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to make all of these required. Perfect. And if for any reason you need a signature on this form over on the left hand side, we can add in a signature right down here at the bottom. And if for any reason we need to make it official, you can turn on sign automation right here and you can see it says require form users to give consent for their signatures, which is perfect. But another thing while we're here under the settings tab, again, over on the left hand side, we have different integrations. So maybe as you're collecting this data, maybe you have an assistant or other teachers or educators that you would like to share this data with, you can do that as well. You can integrate with Google Drive, you can integrate with Google Sheets, you can put all of this into a table outside of JotForm. But the great thing about this is everything can live within JotForm. So let's go ahead and preview this form. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose a quick fill form. And we can go ahead and scroll down. We have these list of classes. So let's say we're gonna choose English 404 and we'll do a quick signature and submit. And then here is where I mentioned it. I understand except that my electronic signature will be as valid as a handwritten signature and considered original to the extent allowed by applicable law. So go ahead and sign this document. Perfect, we can jump out of preview form and then up in the top left-hand corner, we can see we're currently in the form builder. We can jump over to our tables and we can see our signed documents from that sign automation. We have the name, phone number, all the way down to the signature within our tables. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm for your educational needs, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.